India has been spending $75 billion annually in the defense, of which $25 billion goes into uh, new capex. Uh, it's very important that our Indian armed forces actually get best of equipment uh, when the $25 billion is being spent. And if you just start multiplying some of these numbers, we are talking about a $300 billion opportunity over the next 10 years. What are those numbers that you're looking at which tell you that, you know, the size of the market is quite immense in that sense? See, uh, when you're talking about import of the $25 billion I was talking about, which goes into new acquisition, until two years back, 80% was all imports. So we are talking about $20 billion of import happening of new acquisitions until two years back. But now with the push of the government, Ministry of Defense, all this is being directed towards the Indian industry. Mm. So if you're talking about the opportunity, $20 billion coming to the Indian industry, it's very important that the Indian industry is prepared now to take this opportunity and deliver in time, in quality to our customer. How do you see exports ramping up from the house of Adani as far as the defense is concerned? And what could be the size? How would it gradually, if you could help me understand the glide path towards yes. that increasing exports? One of the strategic pillars uh, which we always adopted was how do we ensure that we don't become just inward looking. Hmm. Both in terms of processes, our uh, manpower and orientation, we ensure that we are always working on standards which are internationally accepted. So from the very first facility on drones till now what we are seeing in arms and ammunitions, everything is export oriented. So even what we are producing here is going to be 50% captive uh, for India and 50% going into the export markets. Okay. So we see this opportunity ramping up because the demand of most of the countries in Southeast Asia, Africa, some parts of Southern Europe hmm. is actually growing very significantly. Okay, and could you give us some numbers in terms of the export growth that, that you see for yourself? See, if you look at some of the numbers being published by Ministry of Defense and hmm. the target they've taken, they're talking about a $25 billion exports hmm. target which has been given by 2025. Hmm. And I think India is working well. Okay. So at this point, what the number is, uh, I'm not sure, but I think we are already crossing 10,000 crores as a country. Okay. I want to understand a little about the order book. At this point of time when we talk, what are the kind of orders that you have in your hands? Out of your different product categories, where do those orders lie? And as far as annual addition to order book is concerned, what kind of range do you see for yourself? See, rather than talking about the numbers, I think mm. there's a lot of traction which is already happening mm. in the areas which Adani is focusing on. So from the intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance drones, what you're seeing around, uh, to missiles and munitions, small arms, uh, I think the traction is very, very strong. Mm. So in terms of the order book, because what we are doing in terms of quality, reliability and safety, we are literally the pioneers in each of these areas. Mm. We are looking at a market which is uh, going to be unparalleled. Okay. Uh, as far as the defense vertical is concerned, Adani Defense and Aerospace, under what listed entity would it fall under as far as that corporate structure is concerned? Uh, and uh, as far as you know, investors being able to take a share of this defense growth is concerned, how do you see the whole trajectory of later on demerging that business, maybe listing it and giving other investors a chance to sort of participate in this defense growth? So too, too early to say, yeah, but currently it's part of Adani Enterprises. Mm. Uh, this is the incubator model which Adani has always adopted. Mm. So all our new businesses start in Adani Enterprises mm. and when they reach a substantial size, scale mm. and align to the share shareholders requirement, that's mm. when we try to demerge and make it independent. Okay. So do we want to do it in the immediate future? Answer is no. Mm. Uh, but in the coming 5-10 years, why not? Okay. Uh, one, a couple of questions, last couple of them. Uh, as far as the investments in the plant that we're talking about is concerned, what sort of investments would go from the side of uh, Adani? Uh, and the second thing that I want to understand in terms of capacity expansion, how much would this add? And overall, in the next two to three years, what kind of capacity expansion do you see to your existing capacity? So see, this is one of the mega parks, which is 500 acres. Hmm. Uh, we have an investment commitment of already 3,000 crores hmm. across ammunition and missiles uh, hmm. in this park. Hmm. So since we're starting with 150 million rounds, which is roughly 20% of India's requirement, hmm. we are almost planning to double this capacity in small caliber. Within 12 months time, we are planning to bring in 150,000 rounds of uh, 155, mm artillery mm. and 5 million rounds of medium caliber 23 30 40 by 2026 uh, what kind of different segments also are you available with your different plans put together today mm -hmm. as far as heavy or uh, the bigger segments of defense area is concerned mm -hmm. 
what looks more attractive to you and what are those segments where we could see uh, Adani Defence entering, let's say in the next three to five no, years. No, no, it's a good point. See, what's important is it's not about large versus small in terms mm. of the size what you see. Mm. It's about the technological breakthrough. Mm. So the focus is moving a lot more from big structures mm. to smaller technologies and the smarter mm. technologies. Mm. So the focus is how do we move up the value curve mm. rather than fo uh, focusing on am I making some big structures of helicopters or uh, aircrafts. Correct. How can I actually focus on AI, ML, artificial intelligence, machine learning, data analytics to provide those insights which are important to my Indian armed forces? Correct. So there's a lot of work which is happening because when my drone is flying, it's collecting terabytes of information. Hmm. But if that terabyte of information is not converted into something which is usable by my armed forces, it's useless. Absolutely. Thank you so much for speaking to us and all the very best Thank for you so all your future endeavors and the plans. Appreciate it. Lovely speaking to you. Likewise. Thank you. Bye -bye.